Hello champions, we got a brand new character to preview and it is Lacey Evans, the sassy Southern Belle. Now if you're listening to my channel, you know that Lacey was one of the very few that I was still looking forward to have released. I'm pretty happy about that. She is a modern trickster, which we've kind of had a bunch of them recently with uh, Lana and Carmela. Uh, could have been a powerhouse, I think. Uh, could have been a showboat also, although I'm pretty happy when anyone is not a showboat, really. So I'll take trickster. Let's have a look at her card. Trainer ability at 9,000. Blue move starts with two more move points and red move starts with one more move point. Basically an hybrid MP trainer right there. Links with the Lacey debut contest, which is going to go away after the weekend event. So this one won't stick. Smackdown and Modern Era will stick, however. And no set of gear apart from her main. Now the first move set we're going to have a look at is going to be the purple one, black, black. It is the Lady Lace Up. It's a 10 MP purple move finisher, deals 63.7k damage and choose 7 gems to make into black gems. The twist diving move salt and 8 MP black move. It is a 4 star move by the way, so you can do this move set started at starting at 4 star. It deals 42k damage and choose 5 gems to make into purple gems. And the Shoulder Breaker, 1 MP Black move, deals 17k damage and make all purple gems into Leech Gems of strength 10.4k. Pretty simple moveset. Basically turn all purple into Leech. Use the Black to connect those Leeches and generate the purple for the finisher. Use the finisher to generate the Black to reload the move. Simple enough. Uh, trainers for that. Bray Wyatt to start with more black, Daniel Bryan to create more purple. I could use in their NWO Macho to create both purple and black, but I'm already creating enough black to reload the black move and I'd rather make more purple, both because purple is our primary color, so the main damage, but also because I want to connect as many leech gems as I can as well. Uh, black, like I said, already creating enough to get that uh, black move uh, ready to go. Uh, train uh, coaches using Ogun to create one more of each and All of Fame Eddie to create one more purple and have the purple create uh, do 5% more damage. Could go with uh, MP coaches. Don't really need them, especially with the MLC perks that already create two extra when you do a match. Should definitely not, especially all being choose move. We're going to be getting a lot of MP through that. Don't really need an MP coach in there, especially with the perks. So, so we're going to go versus Bailey. Uh, she, if you're not aware, Bailey at five star. She hits like a truck with her finisher. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, she has a strap along with a bunch of metals. So she's gonna basically reduce our gem damage by half. So that's gonna be a little hard on that since I don't have any straps. Uh, we have a few bonus though. I have 15% more health and gem do 15% more damage. That's the feud bonus. Got take 10% less damage from all color move. That is the uh, standard bonus that is always there. And we have the MLC bonus of 20% more health. All color moves start with 3 MP and matching gives plus 2. Not quite enough to offset the strap, but at least it's something. So let's see how that goes versus Bailey. So we're going to start by converting the purples. I'm going to be making so many of them that I don't really care about ending my turn here because it's going to end regardless. And make two more. So... 
just place him uh, there. All right, 225k. We got out of that. I cake. All right, now there's two things I can do here with the finisher. I can either go and take those lead gems, convert them into black and get that damage. Although if I do that, once I'm ready to do my black move, I won't have much purples or leech to get and I'm already full health, so I'm not going to heal. So I'm actually going to leave those alone so that they remain. Uh, let's do something like that here. Should kick out of that. Already took out half her health though. Did get some purples back. The ones I had are gone. getting about half our damage, well, close to half the damage mitigated by the uh, the strap that she has. Not trying to take all the leeches, just a few. Getting my health back. And she couldn't kick out. But I would have got her on the next turn anyway, even if she did kick out. I kind of like this moveset. I would expect that it would have been a lot faster uh, should we face someone that didn't have uh, a trap? Let's look at something else now. All right, we're gonna see two more variations of that move set we just tried. This one is gonna be the five star version. It's gonna replace the finisher that was choosing black by the running clothesline, which is a five MP purple move. Deal 33.5k damage and increase the strength of your leech gems by 10.4k. 10 Basically doubles your leech gems. Now, the problem with that though is that, well, okay, it's not a finisher, so it doesn't cause a pin, but the choose itself will likely cause a pin anyway. Uh, also, it's not going to be ready on the first turn like your black move will be. Uh, and also... Uh, it's not gonna reload your blacks either. So you probably gonna have to try to place those purples to try to get some blacks at the same time. So I don't think, even though it's gonna create more powerful leeches, I don't think it's gonna be as effective as the first one we saw. Trainers we're gonna go for are the exact same we just did, basically increasing the amount of purples we're gonna make. So let's see how it goes again versus Bailey. Right, 
So that running clothesline is not ready. I'm gonna wait on purpose one turn because I don't want to use it right away. I want to wait for my uh, purple move to be ready. We're gonna take away one of the blues. She does have another one, unfortunately. Which she didn't go for. Alright. Gonna use that again, just for the 13k damage. Now we're gonna increase him. Right? So now they're all, well, we don't see here, but there should be 20.8k each. Now we're gonna connect all of them. If I can. Yes. Actually, I'm missing one. Nah, it's fine. Should be getting out of that. She did. And now is the problem I foresaw. I didn't have much black on the previous board, so I could only get two. And now I don't have anything. We're still gonna use this to increase those purples. Hopefully I'll get to... She's gonna delete a bunch of my purples there. Alright. Now the problem by using that again is that I'm going to overwrite my leeches that were pretty powerful by now. She's going for the purples again. that I'm not gonna get him Let's get two here and uh, like that at least I don't get rid of the black she's gonna get rid of him oh she did it I'm not going to use the purple right away, I'm going to wait for next turn, just so that it's ready for when I put the next batch. Good finisher should hurt. get out of that if we can barely that finisher just hurts like a truck Let's hope we can finish this and get some health. There you go. Alright, that kind of worked better than I expected, but 
I don't like the fact that it really doesn't recycle that well and is going to be board dependent on that. I like the first one better. Now let's look at another version of this now. All right, this is going to be pretty similar to what we just saw, although it's going to be using the blacks instead of the purple, which means the gems are going to do a little less damage, but it's still going to have the randomness issue of not being able to recycle and being board dependent. So it's going to be the Lady Lace Up 10 MP Purple Move Finisher deals 63.7k damage. Choose seven gems to make into black gems. The running clothesline, 5 MP purple move, deal 33.5k damage and increase the strength of your leech gems by 10.4k. Again, this is the 5 star move. The shoulder breaker, 1 MP black move, deal 17k damage and make all purple gems into leech gems of strength 10.4k. Again, we're going to use both of those moves together and the finisher to make a bunch of blacks and hopefully try to reload some purple at the same time. Now to do this, we're going to start with Woods, who's going to help to get our purple going. We're going to have Titus in there to get more uh, blacks from the finisher. We're going to have Ogin to create one extra. And since I don't have uh, all to create, uh, is it all? No, it's I think it's Bree that create more black. I don't have her anyway. We're going to be using DX Sean just to help getting that purple uh, together again if we can. Do this versus same Bailey. Okay. Well, we got a purple match. So that's gonna come in handy. as well use that because it's going to be reloaded anyway well next turn she's going to hit us like a truck already <laughs> uh there's no point using that because i don't have any purples that are there and if i use it while well, i'll do 13k damage i'm also gonna overwrite my current purples that are at 20.4 and making them 10.4 20.8 and making them 10.4 so we're not going to use that or however we're going to use that and we're going to increase them by another 10.4 which is going to make them 31.2k now we're going to use this now, there's barely any purples there so i'm not going to be reloading much actually not even going to be reloading any uh, like this but yeah not even uh, gonna reload uh, yeah now let's take him away should be able to kick out of that oh we got a little purple no problem whatsoever to get out of that and now it's gonna hurt Oh, I dodged. Oh, that's like... Wow. That just made a hell of a difference. <laughs> that just went from a finisher that would have done 270,000 do 41k. That is a big difference. <laughs> I'm not going to use my purple right now because I'm not going to be able to reload it and I might have more purple by the time I can use my finisher. Okay, that's a hell of a cascade right there. Fortunately, they didn't get us any purple. All right, now I'm going to use it though. I got more and I'll be able to match them that'll give me some health back and it's gonna reload itself anyway for the next turn that gave her blue them right, got 
gonna get out of that. We're out. I'm gonna use it anyway, even though it overrides the four I got there, because it does create an extra three. So it's worth overriding the others. Okay. This will make those three collapse. There's going to be full lines. And well, this one, so we get it as well. Actually, no, let's do this one here. This worked better than I expected, although we got lucky twice in there. <laughs> we got lucky when I dodged her making color turn, which effectively made her finisher almost useless. And we got a pretty sizable cascade not so long after, so that could explain that. So this went really well for this specific build, but I would not expect this build to be sustainable or even reliable. All right, let's look at something completely different now. All right, this move set is completely different. It uses the three moves we haven't seen so far. It's going to be the leg sweep slingshot elbow drop combo, which is probably the longest move name in the game. <laughs> Five MP yellow move. Pretty simple. Heals for 57.2k. Woman's right, nine MP yellow move. Deals 52.4k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns. And a handstand Bronco Buster, which is 7 MP purple move, deal 35.9k damage and make five random gems into yellow gems. Basically, we're going to be getting that uh, Bronco Buster out as soon as possible, creating those yellow, hopefully getting enough match to fill both move. Use the eel, obviously, when you're needing it there's no point using it if you don't need health because it doesn't do any damage and doesn't steal health or anything so only use it if you are missing health and that skip basically skipping the return and you want to reload either that purple or that yellow during those two turns so you can get over and over now the trainers for that are going to be Woods to create to start with more purple, Ziggler, so we're making more yellow. Putting All of Fame Booker here could be using Ogin, but there's more point using All of Fame Booker because it's going to increase the yellow gem damage on top of making one yellow. And I'm putting NW Ogin in there because uh, it's going to help to regen that yellow and that purple. Right. Do this against Bailey, same bonuses again. Okay. Let's make those yellows. Hope something matches. It did. Perfect. Unfortunately, ended our turn as well. And she got rid of the remaining yellows. So we don't have any yellow. We don't have any purple. Let's stun her. Get this yellow here. Obviously here the perks are really helping with the extra MP generated by a single yellow match right there. We're going to use this. Stunned again. We did lose some health, so we're going to use that, especially since we're going to be getting our yellow back because here we got a perfect match with both yellow and purple. Uh, 
Alright. We're going to be... Well, let's use it again. I can't see here if we got all out. No, we were missing a little. So now we're full. This is going to make a bunch of yellow. Hopefully get some match. Match would heal us, uh, make our eel move ready anyway. Didn't get a match, but close enough. Reloaded the purple again. Still stunned. We're gonna add more stun turns in there. Got a bunch of yellows right there. More stun turns. Okay, she's still stunned. Get the purple here. This, like, this match is going really well. Probably way too well. <laughs> we don't have the yellow ready, but it will be next turn anyway. And we got the purple ready to get more yellows. Stun is ready. Now again, we got a double yellow and purple match. Still stun. We can make more purple right there. He's still stunned. Let's stun again. Got the yellow. That's done again. He's never getting out of it. Get more yellow here. And it's over. This worked really well. We're obviously full and we didn't even need the heal. I'm thinking we may go for the leech instead. I thought this was going to be the last move set, but since we barely ever needed the heal, let's try without the heal. All right, last move set. We replace the heal move with the shoulder breaker, which is an one MP black move, deal 17k damage and make all purple gems into leech gems of strength 10.4k. As you saw in the last match, never really needed the heal because she never got a move off. Uh, obviously could be a different story if you can't stun lock, but still, I think this is gonna be more effective. First, automatically that 17k damage you can do every turn regardless of whatever else the move does. Top of that, it creates leeches gem. So while it doesn't heal you for the 57k that the other does, it's gonna heal you for 10k per gem that you match or destroy. Plus, you take away health from the enemy as well because it's a leech gem. It's not just a heal. They're gonna be there. You're gonna need to go for purple match anyway to reload that Bronco Buster. I think it's going to be more useful. Trainer, we stick with the exact same thing, Woods and Ziggler, along with N.W. Hogan and Hall of Fame Booker. Let's just see how it goes. Plus, it might give us a better idea also as far as the match goes, because the last match just went ridiculously right. Like, everything was perfect. So, let's see in this one. What an expect two matches in a row to go perfectly. <laughs> All right, so let's create those. Maybe some of them are going to get converted into yellow and matched. Ah, 
That's what happened. That filled or yellow. Let's use it again. Let's stun her. I got three possible yellow matches, but I'm gonna go for the purples instead. Because it did both the leech plus gave me the purple to get more yellows. We're gonna use that again just to get that one extra here. Now we're gonna make a bunch of yellows. I would expect it's gonna match to something. It did. Reload the, the yellow without any issue. We're gonna put some more leeches there. We're gonna put a stun. We'll get a yellow match right there. And a purple match as well. This is still going really, really well. <laughs> He's still stunned. Let's put more of those out. Let's make more yellow and hope we get one match. We did. Plus the turn is not even over. More stun. We're gonna get a bunch of yellow right there. Sun's gonna be ready next turn. More of those. Stun again. Again, I'm gonna go for the purples over the yellow. Because that way I'll be able to make a whole bunch of yellow next turn instead. Plus it leached some L Elt. Make more leech. Plus the extra damage. Make a whole bunch of yellow. And it's over. This again went ridicu ridiculously well. <laughs> this setup really worked it's much, much better. Well, not that there was anything wrong with the other one, but since you never really need the heal, this does provide with heal should you need it, but on top of that, it sucks Elt out, plus it's an extra 17k damage every turn. So, while not sizable, I mean, considering the match is fairly long because you don't do that much damage, but you stun lock them, extra damage every turn just in the end, probably save you a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, so that is pretty much it for Lacey Evan Evans. So, pretty good character overall. I'm like she she can stun lock you forever. Like the first couple moves that we saw worked really well. Uh, little maybe board dependent. The first one recycled really well. Uh, I'd say the last move set is probably more uh, reliable versus trapped opponents. Uh, first one is definitely faster, but is going to get you in trouble if you face someone really strong. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty good character, I'd say. So yeah, that's it for Lacey. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like, if you do, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gio.